okay guys so in this section we are we are now discuss all about energy or how it works so we have to define this energy so whether we realize it or not energy is an important part of most aspect of daily life the quantity of life and even its sustenance depends on the availability of energy therefore it is important to have a good understanding of the sources of energy the conversation the conversion of energy from one form to another and the ramification of these conversions so walang takabantay that kanang mga uh, that phenomenon or that energy is na apply nato in our daily activities so wala nang takabantay like nag consume bata og energy or nag produce bata og energy just like kanang mukha unta sa ato ang food so we have nag produce ta og energy sa ato ang body then kung maglakaw maglakaw ata or mag walk or mag running ganyan so nag consume ta og energy so dilan na to ma realize okay so energy transfer and general energy analysis so we have so in this section we have talked about forms of energy energy transfer by work the first law of thermodynamics or the law in in the last is steady flow energy equation or how how we apply it that kanang this three uh, three um, concepts of these concepts so unsa na to pag apply kaning nga kuan kaning law or the first law of thermodynamics pod so we have uh, ato na discuss later so we have to proceed to forms of energy muna so forms of energy energy can exist in numerous forms such as thermal mechanical kinetic potential electric magnetic chemical and nuclear and their sums constitutes the total energy or e of a system or e denoted by e is equals to e from the unit base basis e over m or kilojoule per kilogram or in terms of mass mass base basis so we have e the unit is kilojoule so energy in physics the capacity for doing work or capacity for doing work such as the capacity to move an object by the application of forms so it may exist in potential so potential means can by virtue of the height or the elevation in kinetic by virtue of the velocity thermal or the temperature difference electra electrical chemical nuclear or other various forms so there are moreover heat in work energy in the process of transfer from one body to another so So, in thermodynamic analysis, it is classified the various forms of energy that make up the total energy of a system into two groups, such as macroscopic and microscopic level. So, 
we have to kuan lang muna kana uh, discuss muna nato unsay unsay mga various form of macroscopic level so what do you mean mac, mac, uh, macroscopic so the macroscopic forms of energy are those a system possess as a whole with respect to some outside reference time or such as this kinetic energy in the poten potential energy so makita ra in outside of a system so we have to define this in kinetic energy so the kinetic energy is the energy that a system possess as a result of its motion or by its velocity Rel relative to some reference frame is called kinetic energy or some reference outside frame or the outside of the system so when all parts of a system move with the same velocity so by virtue of the velocity so the it will form a kinetic energy so next is uh, it is denoted by kinetic energy is equals to mass by mass uh, mass basis so kinetic energy is equals to mass times velocity squared over 2 or the unit is kilojoule so so and the kanang the kinetic energy is depend by the velocity no just like kung moana mo ka dako ang ato ang velocity so moana sa kadako ang ato ang kinetic energy or kung approximately zero ang usa ka object nimo zero velocity ang usa ka object nimo so it means the kinetic energy nimo is zero so wala say kinetic energy nga naitabo so next is potential energy so the energy that a system is as a result of its elevation in gravitational field is called potential energy or T or it denoted by uh, the formula by this potential energy is mass times gravity so and G is gravity and M is mass and the Z is our elevation or ang atong height by the by reference so so mao gyapon the potential energy is by virtue of uh, by virtue of the elevation so so kung naatay height it will form a potential energy by by reference or we have a the datum line in the datum line so we have uh, we have the height or the height of the object so maka create na og potential energy okay so this kinetic energy and potential energy is a form of macroscopic energy so again the macroscopic energy are those a system possesses as a whole with respect to some outside reference time so let us now discuss kung unsa sa na ang microscopic energy or the form of microscopic energy so the microscopic forms of energy are those related to the molecular molecular structure of a system in the degree of molecular activity and they are independent of outside reference frame just like the internal energy so internal energy is defined earlier as the sum of all the microscopic forms of energy of a system it is related to the molecular structure in the degree of molecular activity and can be viewed as the sum of the kinetic and potential energies of the molecules. So, so in terms of 
kung how uh, how we produce the so dire na to ma-define ang atong energy sa internal energy kung unsa ma, kung unsa uh, how much ma-produce ang molecular uh, molecules uh, ma-produce og energy ang molecules or the sum of kanang the sum of the sum of energy nga ma-produce sa usa ka molecules so just imagine the molecules of a gas move through space with some velocity in those possess some kinetic energy so this is known as the transla translational energy the atoms of a polyatomic molecule may also vibrate about their common center of mass and the energy as associated with his back and forth motion is the vibrational kinetic energy so all of this kanang energy kung isam up na to so mo nagitawag nga internal energy so in unit basis the specific or we call as specific internal energy denoted by small letter u and total energy or mass is denoted by capital u so heat so ang heat is form of energy gihapon but by virtue of the temperature difference so heat energy is defined as the form of energy that is transferred between two system. So, mo, ang usa ka kuan, uh, sani, energy mo transfer in from an, uh, from the system to another system by virtue of their temperature difference. So, heat energy that is transferred from one another as the result of a uh, difference in temperature. If two bodies at different temperature and brought together, energy is transfer. So, energy, uh, that temperature, uh, that energy travels from the hotter body to the colder body, or we call it the system. Okay. Okay. So, 2 is positive when heat is added to the body or system. And Q is negative when heat is rejected by the body or system. So, energy transfer by work. Work is the energy transfer associated with a force acting through a distance. So, uh, work, like heat, is an energy interaction between a system and its surroundings. As mentioned earlier, energy can in its surround uh, can cross the boundary of a closed system in the form of heat or work. Therefore, if the energy crossing the bound boundary of a closed system is not heat, so it must be work so just imagine this with stone we have this so kani nga ko an uh, kani nga behavior, behavioral sa kani piston ma, ma determine na to in terms of the diagram of the pressure volume or pressure volume diagram so, in initial position of the piston, so we have point 0.1. So, if this, uh, if this pistons move in linearly, so, makagrap tano. So, at this initial position, so the pressure of uh, this, uh, this koan position have high, high pressure, but but a 
have a small volume. So, we can observe that at point 1. But, kung ang piston mo move lin linearly through expansion, so, so makagrat, ah, or makamugna taog, ah, uh, curve. So, mo na ang behavioral sa usaka, sa usaka piston. At point 2, so we have this. So, this, kuan, uh, uh, this curve, we can create a work. So, we have to, kuan mo na, kanang, uh, so, in this trip, we have P, denoted at P. At this, kanang, uh, area of this strip, we have differential work. So, kung at this thickness, we have differential volume. So, we, na, we have differential work is equals to force x dx or sa force x is pressure. Diba? Ang ato ang ang ato ang Pressure is equals to force over area or the cross-sectional area of the piston. So, we have force X is equals to pressure times area. And the uh, times the differential length is equals to PDB. So, kung atong kwaon ang total work nga na-expand sa usaka piston, so we have the integration of from 2 to 1 is equals to uh, PDV. Okay. So, let us move now into flow work. So flow work or flow energy is work done in pushing a fluid across a boundary. Usually into or out of a system. So we have flow work is equals to force or times length or length that across na across a boundary and the workflow is diba ang pressure na to is equals to force over area. So force is equals to pressure times area times length. So workflow is equals to so, area times length or area times differential length is equals to differential volume. So, kung atong i... Uh, kwaon na to ang change of workflow nila by in or out of a system, so we have work 2 minus work 1. Or, the change of workflow is equals to P2 V2 minus P1 V1. Okay. So let us now discuss the first law of thermodynamics. So katuntanan nga naisigutan nato is mga form lang to sa mga form of uh, form lang to sa mga energy. So diri kaninga ko an kaninga law or this concept. So diri nato ma katungtan ng energy dito na to ma-apply kung saan na to pag uh, saan to na to pag apply through application so dapat mo sunod ta aning rule the first law of thermodynamics so the first law of thermodynamics also known as the conservation of energy principle provides a sound basis for studying the relationships among the various forms of energy in energy interaction. So, based on experimental observation, the first law of thermodynamics states that energy can be neither created nor destroyed during a process. It can only change forms. Therefore, every bit 
of energies should be accounted for during a process. So, just like uh, uh, mag, mag, kwanta ka na, mag-example ta o scenario. So, we have an object. So, naa siya sa uh, top of a hill. So, that object so have a elevation by by the datum line or sa kanang kinaobsa na to. Or ato ang reference plane. So, that koan, that uh, that scenario so have, can possess a potential energy or by by birth, uh, by virtue of koan elevation it will form a potential energy so until such time atong gitagak ang usa ka object so mo create siya og velocity so that energy dili ma destroy ang iyang energy but it will form to another another form of energy so nanamay ko an nanamay velocity nahitabo so katong potential energy ma change into kinetic energy so mo na gi but pasabot sa kaning first law of thermodynamics so again that energy can be ne neither created nor destroyed during a process. It can only change of change forms. So, mo na ito ang hinumduman. So, unsa na ang first law of thermodynamics. Okay? So, so we have now to ap apply so, katuntanan, ato to apply by energy equation. So, considering this system, or this closed system, uh, oh, no, uh, open system. So, this open system, na substance nga, mo in. So, that substance gives a uh, potential energy 1, and then kinetic energy 1, and then there, so work flow 1 or energy flow 1. And sunod na po ang iyahang internal energy. So at this point, mo na iyahang mga quantity of the energy. So by, uh, by applying the lo first law of thermodynamics, so we have heat. Muna day. So, we have heat. So, kung so we apply heat. And then, in the out of the system. So, mo change gyan na iyahang. And it will create a work. So, mo change na iyahang energy out of the system. So, we have potential energy 2. And we have kinetic energy 2. Workflow 2. And internal energy too. So by applying the first law of thermodynamics, so the energy entering system or total energy one is equals to total energy leaving system or the total energy two. So we have potential energy one sum up sa tanang ni enter sa system ng energy. So potential energy one plus kinetic energy 1, plus workflow 1, plus internal energy 1, plus the Q is equals to potential energy 2, plus kinetic energy 2, plus workflow 2, plus internal energy 2, and the work. So, enthalpy is a composite property applicable to all fluids and it's defined by U is equals to PV or in terms of mass basis or total enthalpy, we have mass times enthalpy 
is equals to u plus pv. So, the uh, enthalpy is defined by the sum of the internal energy and all the flow energy. So, the steady flow energy equation becomes, so, instead of ing ana, katong potential energy plus kinetic energy plus internal energy plus workflow 1. So, the workflow 1 and plus internal energy 1, so, mahimo siya og enthalpy, uh, enthalpy plus Q or the heat. And the other side, so, maugyapon. In out of the system, potential energy 2 uh, plus kinetic energy 2. So, kanang usaka equation is enthalpy 2 na siya. Nasayop lang. So, enthalpy 2 plus the work. Okay? So, it has have an example para ma-practice na to paggamit sa steady, uh, steady energy flow equ equation. Okay? So we have this problem. Sample problem one. So, during a steady flow process, the process of the working substance drops from 220 PSIA. The speed increases from 200 to 1000 feet per second. The internal energy of the open system decreases by 25 BTU per pound, and the specific volume increases from 1 to 8 feet cube per pound. So, in this koan, in this problem, no heat is transferred though. So, sketch an energy diagram and determine the work per pound. So, is it done on or by the substance determine the work in hp for 10 pound per minute or 1 hp is equals to 42.4 btu per minute so first we have to sketch unsa iyang energy diagram para masabta na to og pag ayo uh, so we have this system. Uh, so in this system we have pressure down 200 psi. So it means so workflow is denoted by or defined by PB, diba? Right? pressure times the volume. So, it means na da ni si ay workflow 1. Diba? So, workflow 1. And then, the speed increases from 200 and 1000 feet per second daw. So, we have velocity. So, in, in and at point 1, so this point 1 possess a kinetic energy. So we have, by virtue of the velocity, so we have kinetic energy 1. So walay elevation nga gi, gi state diri. So wala tay potential energy pod. But na tay internal energy or decreases by 25 pounds daw. Uh, BTU per pounds. That is what it is. Change of U is equal to 25 BTU. So, by decreases na BTU per pound. Okay. And then, uh, Q. Na by Q. So, why? So, this statement, no heat, no heat is transferred down. So, ang Q na to is equals to 0. So, 
let us uh, kung ano to ang determine determine na to kung unsa to ang quantity of work daw and then at point 2 or outside of the system na agapoy workflow 1 a uh, workflow 2 and then kinetic energy 2 okay so so kuan sa nato tagsa tagsa ang uh, amount of energy the kinetic energy 1 in the fl workflow 1 so sa workflow 1 sa ta so workflow 1 we have pb so sa pressure so in terms na to og fit so para mahimo og mahimo og uh, or balance ang ato ang unit so we have uh, 200 200 psi so in terms of uh, Feet. So, in one, uh, in one feet squared. So we have one four four inches squared, diba And then the volume or the specific volume. So we have one. So one feet cube per pounds. So in terms of pound force, niya. So dinatamag divide of uh, proportionality constant. So, okay, in terms of pound force naman na ang pressure na to. We have cancel this, cancel this. So, fit squared. So, cancel. So, ang may bilhin diri is uh, LB force uh, feet per pound. So, we have conversion of energy. So, in, in one BTU so na atay 778 778 feet uh, LB feet so 778 pound force feet in one BTU and then kinetic energy 1 kinetic energy 1 we have uh, in terms of unit basis lang muna tayo so di lang nato ni kuan apil ang 10 pounds per minute so so we have velocity 1 is 200 feet per second so 1 or 1 half or V squared over 2K. So, we have proportion, proportionality constant. So, on V squared na to, we have 200 uh, feet per second squared into um, LB force uh, uh, yeah. Diba, ang key nato is in, uh, in terms of English system We have 32.2 LB force feet Per LB mass Second squared Okay Hmm all over so para ma kwa na to in one in one BTU we have seven seven eight LB force feet uh, LB force feet okay yeah 
Oh, uh, no. This is LB mass and this is LB force. Okay. So, we have. So, kaninta ng unit. Mag-create na into. Uh, ato sa din yung iso ba yun day? Ang workflow 1. Pila na siya. Wait lang. Thank you. So, this workflow one, kwa na to sang quantity ani. So, we have 200 times 144 times 1. Uh, One over seven seven eight. So we have thirty-seven point zero two BTU per pound. So thirty-seven point zero two BTU per pound. Okay. So in kinetic one we have this two hundred squared over 2 times 32.2 times 778 okay so we have 0 0.798 BTU per pound 0 0.79798 BTU per pound So, workflow 2 na, nasad ta. So, workflow 2. Workflow 2, we have PV, P2, B2. So, pressure is, pila to? Pressure is 20 PSI A. So, we have 20 PSI A. 20 or LB force inches squared. So, in 1, in 1 feet squared, we have 144 inches squared. In volume 2, we have specific volume is we have 8 feet cube per pound. Okay, so cancel inches squared. So, cancel ang feet squared. So, my billion is LB force feet per pound. So, all over the 778 or LB force feet LB mass second squared. Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, LB force naman yun. BTU day. BTU in one 1 feet LB, we have 1 BTU. So, so 20 times 144 times 8 over 778. We can now get 29.61 BTU per pound. 29.61 BTU per pound. In the kinetic energy 2, we have V squared over 2K. So, V squared. So, velocity 2 na to, we have 1,000. So, 1,000 feet uh, per second squared over the 2 times the K. Uh, Thirty-two point two pound mass feet pound force second squared.
and then the conversion of this energy we have 778 pound force a uh, pound feet over the or one in one BTU we have 778 LB feet so 1000 squared over 2 times 32.2 times 778 so we have 19.96 19.96 BTU per pound okay so applying the koan applying the law of conservation slide so by applying the law of conservations we have uh, energy 1 is equals to energy 2 so sa energy 1 so ato lang i Itagol ang ato ang changes of internal energy at equation energy 1. So, in energy 1, we have kinetic 1 plus workflow 1 plus Q. So, ang Q na to, 0 in the change of interne, internal energy. So, the statement siya nga, ang iyang internal energy is ni decrease. So we have negative changes of internal energy. And then, is equals to kinetic energy 2 plus workflow 2. Uh, and then, plus the work. Okay. So, in kinetic 1, we have uh, 0 0.798 BTU per pounds. Plus workflow 1, we have 37.02 BTU per pounds minus change of view we have 25 negative 25 BTU per pounds is equals to workflow 2 we have uh, kinetic 2 we have 19.96 19.96 19.96 BTU per pound. And then the workflow to we have 29.61 plus 29.61 BTU per pound plus the work. So, 0 0.798 plus 37.02 minus 25 alpha equals 19.96 plus 29.61 so, ba? Okay. then plus alpha x or the work this system so we have 30 negative 36 752 
Oh, so because they are chains of work, they come on, come on, sorry. Dreamy dream, dapat mag negative ang chains of you. So, dapat kani siya na diringa so, negative 25 BTU per pound. So, what's sa energy? 1. So, to sa energy 2 ang change of U. So, we have work. Uh, ato lang ni minus diri. Uh, kwa o na to. Minus 25. So, so we have 13.248. So, work na to is 13 point dito 248 BTU per pounds So in terms of horsepower we have So ato na ni substitute ang 10 pounds per minute or in terms of mass basis na nato So it times nato ang work og 10 13.248 BTU per pounds times 10 LB per minute. So we have 1 HP is equals to 42.4 BTU per minute. So in 1 H HP, you have 42.4 BTU per minute so times 13 point so per 8 times 10 times 1 over 42.4 we have 3.12 horse power 3.12 horse power okay so, Mona, so let us move into sample number two. An air compressor or an open system receives 272 kilogram per minute of air at 99.9 .9 kilopascal and a specific volume of 0 0.026 meter cube per kilogram. So, the air flows through the compressor oh wait the air flows TD through the comp compressor and is dis discharged at 689.5 kilopascal and 0.051 meter cube per kilogram. So the internal energy of the air is 1594 kilo, kilojoule at discharge. The internal energy is at discharge is 6241 joule per kilogram. The cooling water circulated around the cylinder carries away 4383 kilojoule per uh, kilogram of air. So the change of kinetic energy is 896 joule per kilogram increases. So, sketch an energy diagram. Compute the work. So, di na nato yung ikana. Laos na nato. So, we have, by applying the law of, law of conservation, so we have energy 1 is equals to energy 2. In the energy 1, we have change of kinetic. So, ato lang ibutan dre, daan sa dere nga equation change of kinetic energy and then we have workflow kay natay pressure and specific volume so workflow 1 plus and then the internal energy the initial internal energy plus q 
we have uh, we have zero uh, no q diba wa man say state dia nga heat and then plus dire na energy to so we have change of kinetic na we have work flow to and we have internal energy to and work flow one so so in terms of kwa lang sa nato a unit basis so in workflow one we have 99 uh, workflow one 99.9 kilopascal or 99.9 kilonewton per meter squared and then 0 0.026 meter cube per kilogram so cancel out cancel so we know that kilonewton meter is equal sa kilojoule per kilogram na to so this workflow one 99.9 times 0 0.026 so we have 2.5974 2.5974 kilojoule per kilogram and internal energy 1 so ato lang in terms of kilojoule so 1594 joule per uh, sakto ba kilogram in 1 kilojoule we have 1000 joule so 1594 one five nine four times uh one over one thousand we have one five one point five nine four kilojoule per kilogram and then sa workflow to napunta workflow to so we have Uh, P to V to, and then the pressure is six eight nine point five point five kilonewton per meter squared times the specific volume we have zero point zero zero five one zero point zero zero five one meter cube per kilogram. So cancel out, cancel. So in one kilonewton meter, we have kilojoule per kilogram. So times that out. Six eight nine point five times zero point zero point zero zero five one. So we have three point five one six four five. 3.516.45 and internal energy 2 uh, we have Q day no? calling water circulator uh, carries a Y438.3 so we have Q day so internal energy 2 so at discharge we have 6241 6241 6241 joule per kilogram so in 1 kilojoule we have 1000 joule 6241 divide 1000 so we have 6.241 kilojoule per kilogram and then the Q is four three eight three joule per kilogram. So four three eight three 
joule per kilogram. So, in 1 kilojoule, we have 1,000 joule. So, 4383 divide 1,000. 4.383 kilojoule per kilogram. So, at a substitute sa ang equation or law of conservation. So, sa workflow 1, we have 2.5974 2.5974 kilojoule per kilogram. And then, sa internal energy 1, we have 1.5 plus 1.59 kila to? 4 kilojoule per kilogram and then the calling oh wait and the two and then the two or rejected heat heat so we have negative four point three eight three kilojoule per kilogram is equals to so na din ni work no work sa osaka system so dapat iman ang gina nato and then workflow 2 we have 3.51645 kilojoule per kilogram and then internal energy 2 62.41 kilojoule per so, kilogram plus the work. So, makuha na to. Makuha na to. So, 2.5974 plus 1.5594 minus 4.383 alpha equals 3.51 6.45 plus 6.241 alpha x so shift solve equals we have 9.9 9 Uh, may kuwang na ito ni uh, 689.5 times 0. 0. 0.0051 Wait lang ha. So we have nakalimta na to ang change of K na eh. Natay change of K nga. Pila to. Uh, change of K internal Adra, 896 point. So, dapat plus, kuhan dahin eh. Plus 0 0.896. So, minus dahi ito. Um, usbo na na ito. 2.5974 plus 1.594 Minus 4.383 Alpha equals 3.51 6.45 Plus 
for 1 plus 0 0.896 plus work. We have 10.845 day. So work is equal to negative 10.485 kilojoule per kilogram. So, can, so in terms of kilowatts, so it ang negative daw, it means uh, work work done by the system. So in terms of kilowatts, we have negative ten point four eight five kilojoule per kilogram times 272 per kilogram per minute or in one minute we have 60 seconds so work is equals to times 272 divide ni mo 60 so o na to ah negative point uh, negative 49.16 negative 49.16 kilowatts so mo na in terms of kilowatts na to okay so that's all thank you